So one of the fascinating things from the Simmel and Hyder experiment is the extent to which we tend to project a sort of human agency onto inanimate objects. And in the case of that experiment with the shapes, the triangles and the circles, they're not even objects, they're just shapes displayed on a screen. They have no material form whatsoever. But we seem desperate to overlay both sort of intent and agency on those shapes so that we construct a story around them. Now, one of the theories around this is that the human brain is, just as it's particularly optimized to recognize faces, and so we see faces in rock formations when we're not there, we're kind of over-optimized to look at things through a lens of uh, intent and through a lens of uh, animate objects with agency. Now, when you think about it, we kick vending machines and we swear at them. Now, to an alien species, that might seem absolutely ridiculous. We're not kicking the vending machine as an attempt to repair it. We're kicking it because we're angry with the machine. That famous, for example, John Cleese sketch where he lays into his car with you know, a brunch. Well, that's completely insane in many respects because the car has no feelings, it has no sensation, uh, you know, it doesn't feel pain. And yet, for whatever reason, we seem to be calibrated to see things that aren't people as if they're kind of people. Now, why that has huge implications for us, of course, is we do the same thing with brands. Brands, to some extent, are things on which we project human values, even though they're a corporation or a product or a kind of you know, entity which are uh, you know, com composed of many, many people who will change completely over the course of 10 or 15 years. There may not be a single employee left standing from 15 years ago. In the case of the Ford Motor Company, it probably doesn't own a single thing that it owned sort of 30 or 40 years ago. And yet, for whatever reason, we treat these things as if they're people.